Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. On today's video I have this Audi A3, the um, this model here, the 2012. Um, it's an A3 Sportback and this is a petrol one, the TFSI um, 1.2 I think or 1.4, I'm not sure. But um, we're going to have a look at the location of the fuses and um basically if you look at your manual um, there are two fuse boxes according to this manual so if i can just open this here then it shows you the locations here so fuses and bulbs it says but we're going to look at fuses um so it says here left hand side of dash panel there's a fuse cover and if you take that cover off you will find the fuses in there in this picture they are showing you um, the left side however in this car uh, because it's a right hand drive the fuses are actually on the other side on the right hand side so we'll have a look at that and also we have engine compartment left hand side fuse cover so depending how you're if you're looking at the car from this angle the fuse box is on the right hand side if you're sitting on the car then the fuse box is on the left hand side so um and then it just tells you how to remove them gives you some instructions and also there is a in this panel here there is a little key that you can use to remove fuses and also they give you in the manual a list of uh, the fuses that you have so it says fuse number one electrical equipment it controls different things as shown in there so i will add a picture of this page here so you can um, you can have a look by pausing the video uh, but just remember that I don't know all of this by memory so and these are the fuses on the left hand side panel and the inside uh, well in this car are on the right hand side so it kind of shows you common one that I always get asked which one is the fuse for the cigarette lighter so it says here um, I just saw it there there fuse number 24 cigarette lighter is a 20 amp fuse and this fuse will be in inside of the car and then you have a different other things seat heating lumbar support uh, the thing is, um, depending on what your, your car has as well, because, for example, the heating, uh, rear or seat heating front, uh, some cars may not have those features, which means those fuses may not be available. However, sometimes certain features are also a part of these circuits. So if you find the fuse there it might be controlling something else but uh, it'll be something like fuse number 16 here it tells you diagnostic socket rain sensor heating control unit air conditioning control unit auxiliary heater tire pressure monitoring display so this particular fuse it's doing quite a few things but obviously if you haven't got one of these things um then it will still show you here but uh but the fuse can still be uh responsible for something else obviously that's happening in your car so just be aware of that and then it continues here the list and also we have fuses on left side of engine compartment so again you have another so you have again fuse number one two three four five 
and so on. Horn, audio amplifier, windscreen wiper system, just a bit of everything here. So let's have a, a look now. Um, let's look at the ones in the engine bay first. And if you come and open this cover, I uh, think you have to move this towards you, so this way. And then we can lift this cover up. <clears throat> and in there, you will find some fuses, and there is a couple of relays there as well and you can see let me get a light and see if we can see you can actually see the numbers of the fuses so f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 F7, F8, and, and so on. You can actually see the F25, F26, this F25, F26. You can see the numbers on the sides. Um, so it will tell you, the manual will tell you what that particular, whatever particular fuse is for. And so you can go ahead and check them out. But you may be able to notice that... Um, as mentioned before, some sockets are empty, like this one here is empty, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and, and so on. They're empty, so those features are not particularly available on this, on this car, and as a result, you will not find them um, in there. But your model, if it's got more features, it may actually have those fuses in there but just remember it doesn't mean they are missing these fuses are not missing they're just not supposed to be there so let's get this and also actually uh, there is um, these fuses here that are normally they're not really shown on the manual because uh, they will blow very rare something will happen to this here um, last, that's like a 40 amp, 80 amp fuse, another 80 amp, 50 amp, and so on. Some of these control the power steering or motor or certain things like that. But um, you do have some of these fuses here as well. It's like a this is a whole like placard. So I seem to remember that if one of these blows you blows here then you pretty much need to replace the whole thing but i haven't done one of these in a long time um the one i had a problem with was uh, i think it was a apollo a vw polo actually in which one of those had actually blown right okay close this now And we're going to have a look at the fuses in the car. And for that, we may actually want a flathead screwdriver. So as you can see, this is a right-hand drive. And we have this cover here. So you do need to put your flathead screwdriver somewhere there and open this cover here which may sound a little bit like the whole car is falling apart, but it's not. There's the little key for pulling fuses. Obviously, don't just start pulling fuses. Um, you need to, you can check them. Uh, they have a little filament in there. And that little filament, if it's broken, it will, it will be split. Um, so obviously if you were looking for a specific fuse then you will 
you will pull that fuse out and check that the filament is intact. So let's get this a little bit open. We can shine a light here and see what we have. So these are also numbered. You can see the numbers there. You can just about see the numbers. Um, you can see the numbers like in there, 19, 20, 21, or up here you have, I think that's a five, six, this must be seven in the end, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and so on. So that's how you can spot the fuse that you might be looking for. And uh, like I said, you want to check the little filament in there. You can see that little metal bit in there. When that bit is broken and it's not making a contact, then that fuse is faulty. These other ones, the metal bit is a lot thinner, so it's a little bit harder to, to see, which is why you would um, really take it out to check it. And, well, as far as it goes, those are the two fuse boxes. I can see that this cover here also has a list of fuses there. So this list must be the same as the one uh, the one written in the manual. So just take a look. what you might be looking for and uh, that's pretty much it really so then we can fit this back in here <sighs> I think one of the little metal clips has come out so I'll have to fit it back um, so hope this video helps don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next video. So thank you for watching.